How's it going everyone? AFC Finners here on a Thursday night. I have made the short journey to Gloucester, but tonight I am not seeing a Gloucester football game or a Gloucester rugby game. I am seeing, you'll never be able to guess the home side, Truro City, Cornwall's finest, in a home tie against the Oval. In case any of you are wondering why Truro are playing their home games in the ground that is so far away from home, unfortunately the terrible weather, Exhibit A, has caused a huge backlog in non-league this season and Truro have a lot of fixtures to get fulfilled and they've made the decision to play their home games at Gloucester City's Tiger Turf Stadium due to the fact that it is a 4G and won't be too damaged by the weather. It should be an interesting evening because not just to see a side from Cornwall but to see the away side who we go to town. Yeovil Town, who we saw earlier this season, require only one point to not just gain promotion, but to be declared champions of the National League South. So it's a big evening for the away side. Not often you get so close to your home for match such as this. I think we should speak to some of the Yeovil fans. It's not often that the away side has a shorter journey to, to the stadium than the home side. But how are you feeling about tonight? It's a big day. Our form's not been that great recently, so we're just hoping to limp over the line, I think. We only need a point through where I played yesterday, so yeah, it should be fine. Fingers yeah, crossed. Oh, in a... <laughs> nearly champions, nearly champions. <laughs> right, obviously, you only need a draw. What would you say your prediction for tonight's game is? 2-1 Yeovil. 2-1 Yeovil, let's hope you're proving right. So, a massive night for Yeovil after a few difficult years. You've fallen out of the Football League, but it seems very much you're on your way back. How are you feeling? A bit nervous, to be fair, um, after Saturday's performance, but just want to get it done, don't we? Yeah, exactly. But obviously, it's even with the nerves, it's been a fantastic season. What has it meant to you, like being in this promotion chase? It feels a bit weird, like actually, like turning up to games and seeing us win and score goals. <laughs> like, it's just a bit unusual, but like, yeah, literally I've enjoyed it. I just want to get it done now. Thanks, Ross. And what is your prediction for tonight? Uh, six 0 Yeovil. Oh, it, yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I came to your ground in December and it was nil nil. So you guys, oh, okay. you owe me some goals. Yeah, yeah, hopefully so. <laughs> Let's hope you're proven right. Good Absolutely. luck. Absolutely. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Uh, how can you not love this game? <laughs> I've spoken to a few of them and I already want them to go up. I do hope they can come back. They were always such a likable team. It was great having them in the football league. I was so sad for them when they did go out of it. But hopefully. Tonight, a big step towards a return to the Football League can be achieved. A quick word for Truro as well, hope fell into some of their supporters, but it's obviously really sad what's been happening then. Cornish Sport is something I really think if they invested in, it could do really well. Some of you, my long-term subscribers, may remember a few years ago I did a video on the Stadium for Cornwall project, which looked to build a big stadium, maybe six to 10,000 seats in Truro to host both Truro City and Cornish Pirates. Sadly, partially thanks to the government not funding it, never trust the Tories. That project seems to have fallen apart, tragically. Hopefully it can be revived, hopefully the Cornish dream can be realised because it'd be great to see them have a big round, not just for football, but for rugby. And I'm sure they'll enjoy their trip to lovely Gloucestershire. But, um, but obviously you don't want to be coming this far for home games. But hopefully the future is bright for them tonight. That's a bit of a good fight. Slight threat of relegation. I'll have to see what happens, but I think Yeovil are very much tonight's favourites. Tiger Turf, here we come. Okay, so we've now found a Truro fan. Uh, why don't you start by introducing yourself? I'm a Steve Baker, Truro fan. Okay, so are you staying for the whole duration of these fixtures in, in, in Gloucestershire? Yeah, I'll be here every game. Oh, brilliant. Fair play to you. It's, it's an arduous task, but I respect your commitment. Fair play to you. Now, to me, it's a ground top. I've been to grounds across the country. I've still not done one in Cornwall. Cornish sport is a mystery to me. What can you tell me about Truro City? Well, Truro City, we lost our ground in 2020. We had to share at Plymouth Parkway in Devon. We shared at Taunton in, in Somerset. And now we're in Gloucestershire for Gloucester City. But next season, as of August next year, we're going back to our new ground just outside Truro. So if you want a ground chop, come down. Or any ground droppers, come down. At the beginning of next season, you'll be able to get into a Truro City game at home for the first time in four years. Fantastic. Well, that's really good news. It's great to see you progressing. Because obviously, 
The derailment of the whole stadium for Cornwall thing was a devastating blow for not just you, but Cornish Pirates too. That's, that's, a, that's a matter of opinion. We didn't want stadium for Cornwall. The stadium for Cornwall was sharing with rugby, rugby union and no football fan wants to share with a rugby union side. OK, fair, fair enough. <laughs> to, to me, like in the research I did, it seemed like it was a positive thing. But if, if, you, if that's not what you wanted, then fair enough, at least... At least it collapsing isn't so bad. So you yeah. want so you want the place that's just a true city and true city alone. True city and the rugby league, which is a summer game. Rugby union's a winter game, the same as football, and that will just ruin the pitch. So a rugby league side there. The owner, the owner Eric, now is owns the Cornish uh, rugby league side, and we're going to share with them with the, at the new stadium. There'll be a three G pitch on one side and the grass. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Well, it seems to work out. It really has. Yeah. Okay, f fantastic. Well, I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. I'm I'm actually really pleased. So what, what else can you tell us about the new home you're going to have and what well, grounds office I mean, I can haven't find? Seen, I haven't seen inside, but the, the plans when we went to the meeting a few, a few months ago, the plans look amazing. Um, it's going to be a community hub. There'll be a 3G pitch there. There'll be places for the community to come and all that sort of stuff and enjoy it. And hopefully we rent the 3G pitches out, get income in that way. It'll be a hub. It's near the hospital at a place called Three Milestone. And um, we're looking to grow our fan base. Plus, there's a load of houses going in behind it, a new town being built just behind the stadium. So hopefully that will generate more supporters and we can hopefully knock on to getting maybe 1,000 or 1,500 fans regularly through the door. Yeah, fantastic. That would be amazing because obviously Cornwall is a place so many people in Britain love to go on holiday, but in recent years they've maybe chosen to go abroad instead and obviously the rising prices of a holiday on the south coast has really affected it. But do you think this can bring a new identity to Cornwall and a new future? Yeah, yeah. Anybody anybody wants to come down on a holiday and, and maybe pack the missus and kids off to the beach for the day or whatever and then come to... We, we welcome anybody through the stadium. They want to into the stadium. Any fan, is any fan of any description or any club colours is welcome at Truro City when we get back there. And uh, we look forward to buying your pint in the bar. Brilliant. That's amazing. Well, hopefully I will be there someday. No so let's finish off by saying, what is your prediction for tonight? Heart on head, too. I think it might probably be a Truro win. Uh, sorry, a, a Yeovil win. I'd like to see Truro get something out of the game. It's going to be tough. But I know, the, I can see the lads out there now. They will give 100%. Whether we can get something, time will only tell. Well, as long as they put up a good fight, that's all you can Absolutely. ask for. We've got bigger fish to fry than, uh, than Yeovil. We've got, more, more, we've got another four games here next week. So we've got to save ourselves for that. Well, good luck tonight and I hope you enjoy your new stadium. No problem. Cheers, buddy. Thanks. Thank you. That's the away fans. Green and white away fans take up three stands. That sounds familiar. Good evening, Tom. Thank you for joining us. It's going to be a fun evening, isn't it? Unique yeah, night. Very tired. Sorry, guys. It's okay. So am I. We're both knackered, but next week's going to be a special one, and you'll find out why soon. Tom, what's your prediction for today? Um. Oh, that's a difficult question. So. I want to say 3-0 at Yeovil, but this is some part of me thinks that they'll mess it up. That's very selfish. I know, bloody announcers. That's only Finley they're meant to do that to. Yeah, so 3-0 Yeovil. I, I'm going to say the same. I think 3-0 Yeovil. I, I, I was saying to the Yeovil fans, Tom, Yeovil owe us a few goals. Why is that? Oh, God, don't get me started. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, I saw I, I self a Vietnam flashback. You guys remember the Yeovil vlog, one of the worst games we've ever been to. I think Alva Church eclipsed it, to be fair. No, Yeovil <laughs> was worse. At least Alva Church had goals. But yeah, so it's not nil-nil. I know Yeovil fans won't complain because they'll go up. But nah, they owe us a goal. Excited? This this gonna be a good evening.
It's Somerset Delight here in Gloucestershire. A sea of green has descended behind us and Yeovil have paid their debt of a goal to us. A huge moment in their fight for promotion. I think the title could very well be in sight. Only 12 minutes in, 1-0. <laughs> there's another there's another national league we've had one yes but what about second national league oh good save oh what a block penalty <laughs> Half time here at Tiger Turf and Yeovil are on course for the title. They've been dominant but not had too many clear cut chances. But you do feel like the wall will crumble eventually in the second half. I think this could end up being three or four, but they will find a super breakthrough soon. What do you think? Uh, well, it can't be nil nil now, can it? And the Yeovil crowd go wild. A second goal, a second header, and it looks like the promotion is sealed. The green smoke appears in the Gloucester sky once again. It looks like Yeovil are champions, and they're going up 2-0. The taste of promotion, early moments away. 15 seconds. Moments away until five seconds. Oh, there it is. A million percent. Yes! I'll be there. Well, congratulations, you've earned it. Cheers, buddy. Champions again! Champions again! Champions again!
How can you not love football, eh? What, what an incredible evening. It was a, like, we only decided on doing this last week, but I'm so happy to have been able to witness that and be part of that pitch invasion, see all that joy. What I meant to over fans, I saw one or two people in tears of joy. It's absolutely amazing, and it's like, to anyone that says it's just a game, look at all that. It's beautiful. Moments like this are what makes this game special, and... You know, fair play to Yeovil. I'm so happy for you and I wish you all the best. I know if you can get back in the Football League soon. It's been a hard fall from grace, but you're on your way back and you've earned it tonight. Congratulations. What an evening and what a great thing to be part of. Tom, you great fun, didn't you? First time we fully invaded the pitch together. Let's hope it's not the last. That was good fun. Yeah, because you were a wuss at chore. Oh, shut up. <laughs> and Bye, everyone. Yeah, it's been a great evening. And it's good to get a bonus match day vlog in. All the best to Yeovil and all the best to Truro. Hopefully one day I'll be able to visit your new stadium. I wish you all the best. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations, Yeovil. See you next time.